Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here. Welcome back to the Millwall Career Mode. It's now Season 2, Episode 13. We're closing in on the January transfer window and Shane Ferguson has pretty much turned us down and said he doesn't want anything to do with the club, which is fair enough. I cannot complain about that. We don't really need another left midfielder. But in terms of how today's episode is going to go, now the first game is against Burnley away from home. They are sitting 10th in the league table. They're a pretty strong side, so it'll be a very good game. You can obviously see that game up as we are there now. Then the next game is against Blackburn, who, as you can see in the table, are sixth. We're playing them at home. That should be a game that we have to win. It'll be quite good if we can, but obviously I will settle for points. We're doing really well in the league at the moment. And then the final game of the episode is against Sheffield Wednesday away from home. They're 17th in the league table. And funnily enough, I think it's going to be the hardest game of the episode. Now, why is my voice like this? Well... The Millwall versus Bradford game was a fantastic game, a great atmosphere, and this is the product of that game. I've practically lost my voice, or it's gone croaky like this. So, it's quite an interesting factor. I cannot wait for Wembley. You'll see this a while after that game has obviously been played. And you'll probably be nearing Wembley time when you actually see this video. And I cannot wait for that. I'm super stoked. Hopefully, we can go to Wembley in this career mode it'll be quite good if we can so let's actually get into the game against Burnley I'm going to show you the starting 11 hopefully it's going to be good enough to get a decent result and Burnley so in goal we've gone with Christian Walton the left back is Joe Martin the two centre backs are Craig and now the captain Mark Beavers who is back from his suspension it was gutting for him to be out of that game because we really did need him and we only just got knocked out by Chelsea so I'm really gutted but it is a decent result nevertheless the right back is Cummins the right midfielder is Paris Cohen Hall he played exceptional in that game and deserves a space in this team the centre midfielders are Powell and Carlos Askins I'm just hoping he will be able to sign a contract at the end of his loan spell the left midfielder is Ferguson, who is probably going to leave after the end of his loan. And the two strikers are Marquis and Gorgon. So, this is set up to be a very interesting game. And hopefully, we can get a decent result. So, let's go play Burnley. Hopefully, we can get at least a draw. George Boyd to Hennings. Hennings with a shot and he hits the post. How unlucky can you get there? What can Shane Ferguson do with the ball? He's going to lay it out wide to John Marquis. Marquis is going to try and cut inside with the ball. He's still going. John Marquis is still going. Marquis with the shot and it's gone in the back of the net. What a goal by John Marquis. He has been fantastic in this game and he's well and truly deserved a goal. We've finally beaten the Burnley defence though. It took us a while to do this. That was a great move by John Marquis. He beat the defenders and then put it in the bottom corner. A well and truly fantastic solo effort. And at the moment, he's one of our best strikers. Right, they're making a substitution. They're bringing on Andre Gray. He's a fantastic player. That's a bit scary. But we're making three subs here. Lee Martin, Gary Gardner, and Lee Gregory are coming on for Shane Ferguson, Jack Powell, and Alexander Gorgon. We need to get another goal. Maybe it'll be Gregory's time to shine. So we'll play it up the pitch, hopefully for Lee Martin to get onto the end of it, and he does. Lee Martin, he's got a lot of space to get into here. Lee Martin, he just overdoes it. No, he doesn't. He still has it here. Lee Martin, he's gone into the box. He has the shot, and it's gone in the back of the net. What a goal by Lee Martin. He is one of my favourite midfielders. And, well, he's still doing the damage, showing that he can do it, even though Ferguson is the preferred player in the team. He's still doing well. Lee Martin has obviously got to get a bit more game time as he has been fantastic throughout the time that he hasn't been in the team. And that was a fantastic finish. We've done the number and I think every single team that's got relegated from the Premier League and these are an ex-Premier League team as well. Not quite from the current season obviously because that was Norwich and some other teams but Burnley still are an ex-Premier League team. Right, and we won the game. It feels really good because, as I was saying, when Lee Martin scored the goal, they are an ex-Premier League team. About three or four years ago, they played in the Prem. Now, I'm very happy with the result. We've got rid of the unhappy memories that we built in that Chelsea game. I'm honestly really gutted we lost that because we did really well. I didn't expect us to be in a position of a lead, at least in that game. 
But we've won the game against Burnley. John Marquis played fantastic. And also so did. He didn't get on the score sheet. But obviously he will do as the time goes on. I'm not looking to get rid of him after all. I think that he has a bit more to offer for this team. Maybe it's just an unlucky season. So let's get into the game against Blackburn. It'll be an interesting game. This is our only home game of the season. So we've got to win it. Let's go play Blackburn. Run. I've changed the team up a little bit to play Blackburn Rovers. So Marlon Romeo actually wanted to go into the team, so he has been put in there. But this is what the team actually is. So in goal, we're going to go with Jordan Archer. He hasn't got too many games this season, but we might as well stick him in this team here. The left back is Mitch Hancock. The two centre backs are Par, a player that I've been training all season, and the captain, Mark Beavers. The right back is obviously Marlon Romeo. He wanted some time, so he's going to get some time. Paris Cohen Hall has been fantastic and I'm going to keep him in the team. The two centre midfielders are Thompson and Askins. Askins obviously is the best player we've got at the moment, so it's hard to take him out of the team most of the time. Lee Martin is the left midfielder. He scored in the last game, so he's definitely going to get the nod ahead of Shane Ferguson, who really is not going to be in too many games at the moment because if he doesn't want to stay with us and he didn't want to sign the next contract that I offered him so I'm not going to bother anymore he's going to leave the club when his loan expires the two strikers are John Marquis who scored a goal and Alfie Pavey who's finally back from his injury so I cannot wait to see if Alfie Pavey can fire on all cylinders and get us a goal in this game so let's play Blackburn hopefully we can get a decent result this is a weaker team than I'd usually play but it should still be a decent team let's go play Blackburn Backpan. Oh, now there's a great pass. Can we get the ball? No, we can't. Oh, and they've put the ball in the back of the net. That was an absolute shamble. I really don't know what happened there. I think, honestly, if Foresta hadn't put that ball in the back of the net, Blackburn probably would have been given a penalty. What was Archer doing? What was the defence doing? That is really, really shoddy defending. I'm not very happy with this team. I mean, let's have a look at it again. Can we at least look? Here we go. Right. So they bring the ball in. It was pretty nice play. That ball split the defence. He then played it there. Pass should have won that ball back. Archer came out to try and get it, and the ball simply was put in. He almost missed it, but he hit the crossbar, and it went in. So it's a very good shot for him, but it's very unlucky for Millwall. We could have done a bit better there. Right, we're making two substitutions here. Jed Wallace and Lee Gregory are coming on for Ben Thompson and John Marquis. Hopefully, we can get a goal because we don't want to lose a game to especially that goal. I mean, if it was to another goal and we do lose 2-0, then fair enough. But that goal was terrible. They don't deserve to be leading just on that fact. Lee Gregory is going to try and cut inside here. He's still going. Lee Gregory. Gregory is going to have his shot. It's blocked. How unlucky for Lee Gregory. He just wants another goal to add to his very little goals he scored this season. What can Lee Martin do with the ball? He's going to knock it on to Carlos Askins. Askins, he's still going with it. Carlos Askins with a shot. is blocked. Oh, and it doesn't drop to a Millwall player. Now Blackburn can move away with the ball. We had our chances. We blew them. This is really bad for the club. The fact that I just played a weaker team and we just can't keep that stability, that need for goals. We just can't do it in every game. That's what's really costing us sometimes. And I mean... I shouldn't be complaining, we're in a pretty good position in the league, but it is still upsetting to see an absolute of whatever it was, it wasn't a shamble, it wasn't a good goal, it was chaos in that box, par, I don't know what he was doing, it was my decision to put in there, so obviously it's my fault we've lost this game, no fantastic goal, no little bit of guilt there, it is completely my fault, I really really am gutted for losing that game hopefully it won't affect our position too much and this is the sort of games you need to win Blackburn were in the playoffs they're not far off of us that could put us potentially really really low in the playoffs so let's hopefully not be in a bad position and get into the next game which is our final game of the episode against Sheffield Wednesday right and this is the team that's going to be playing Sheffield Wednesday I don't really like the kit clash too much well, it's not exactly the same, but it looks very, very similar. Different shades of blue with obviously a bit of white on the kit. I'm playing a slightly weakened team, similar to the last game. Not so much exactly the same players, because that came back to bite me really badly in that game. But this is the team that I'm going with. I'm going to stick with Jordan Archer in the goal. He needs more game time. They are a weakened side. Hopefully, 
the worst case scenario, we get a point. The left back is Joe Martin. The two centre backs are Nelson and the captain, Mark Beavers. The right back is Ethan Ebanks Landel. I think if I'm correct, this may be the first time he's played right back all season. And he was originally cover for the right back position. So I should play him a bit more often here. The right midfielder is Gorgon. The two centre midfielders are Gardner and Aidan O'Brien. The left midfielder is Ferguson because Lee Martin was a little bit tired. And obviously I'm already playing O'Brien in the centre of the pitch. The two strikers are Berrienta and Gregory. Hopefully, just hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get a decent result out of this game. They are a struggling side, but obviously if you saw the way we defended in that last game, we're kind of struggling ourselves. So, let's get into the game against Sheffield Wednesday. Surely, we can get a decent result in this game. So, let's go play Sheffield Wednesday. I'm going to give it to Gregory. Gregory wants to try and get past the defender here, and he has slightly still going. Lee Gregory with the shot. Oh, and it's saved by the goalkeeper there. Gregory's heart was just crushed. Ferguson, I'm going to give it all the way to Gary Gardner, who does absolutely nothing with the ball, and he's got found out. Berienza, oh, it's to Gregory this time. Gregory, he has the chance. He shoots, he puts it in the back of the net. Lee Gregory finally scores. There you go. He'll be very happy to have scored a goal. Oh, I'm happy as well. What a goal it was from the breakaway from the corner. We got the ball back here with Berienza. He played it to Gregory. Gregory done really well to move with the ball and then put it into the back of the net. Gregory needs more goals and he's got it here. Hopefully he can get another one in this game. You may not have heard the last of Gregory in this match. The Berenta has went back here. He's a very, very strong physical player. Berenta is still going. Berenta, he has the shot and it's gone in the back of the net. Berenta with the goal there. As I said, a very strong physical player like Steve Morrison with a bit more pace. And he definitely used it to his advantage here. What a move. What a goal. Bentley stood no chance. Gardner. It's O'Brien. Aiden O'Brien, he plays it for Berenta. What can Berienta do with the ball? He's still going. Berienta, he has the shot and it goes into the back of the net. He could eventually be a contender for the top goal scorer in this league. He has been phenomenal in this game and is working in our favour. Berienta, I should give him more game time, really. He's a phenomenal striker. He's a great signing. I don't really want to stray too far from the Millwall players, but he was a definitely a very good spot. From AC Milan as well. He's not usually playing for them, so it's a pretty good signing. It made sense at the time, and it still makes sense. What a goal by Berienza. It's his seventh in the league. He has been brilliant this season. Aino Bryan to Lee Gregory. Oh, this could be a great chance for Gregory. He's got space. Lee Gregory is going to have the shot. Oh, and he converts it just like that. The Sheffield Wednesday defence has fallen to pieces. They've gone all out attack, I think. And they left so much space at the back. Gregory got another goal. Look at that space. It's just what a striker wants. Even Gregory, who's been not scoring recently, but obviously has scored in this game. And he's got another to his tally. Bentley should be doing better there. But Gregory, true credit to this game. He has been fantastic. Right, and we're making subs here. Ben Thompson, Jed Wallace and Tony Craig are coming off for Gary Garner, Alexander Gorgon and Sid Nelson. Hopefully they can help us get another goal. I mean, it'd be a bit greedy to say that, but who knows what could happen. Oh, we've won the ball back here. This is a great chance. It's through for Gregory. If Gregory can continue this, he could have a hat-trick. It's Lee Gregory. Gregory with a shot. He's dropped back. Gregory's put the ball in the back of the net. That's his hat-trick. Gregory, who hasn't been performing that well this season, has got a hat-trick in this game. What has happened here? Their defence has been shocking. Shambles, just like it was for my defence against Blackburn. Great bit of play there. Bentley, fair enough he made the save, but Gregory followed it up and put it in the back of the net. Berienta and Gregory have formed a great partnership in this game. 
who knows, maybe it could continue and fire us to the Premier League. Who would have thought it? 5-0, what a result. We played fantastically. Gregory got a hat-trick. Yes, you are hearing me right. No, it isn't in League One. We have done it. He's done it in the Championship. Finally, he's got five goals in the league now. That's not too bad considering Barry enters only on about six or seven. So, Gregory, you never know. Like last season, could shoot up the goal-scoring rankings. You never know. It is progressing close to January. That's when he started scoring all the goals in League One last year. So as I've been complaining about his goal drought, he goes and scores a hat-trick and proves us all wrong. I am very happy. 5-0 is probably the best result we've had. This definitely confirms our need to up it to ultimate. We really, really have been playing well. I would have never expected the progression levels of the team. In fact, I started on professional when season one started. And if we're going to ultimate, we've done a really, really good progressional level in terms of the difficulty of the game. I can't play on this difficulty on any other career mode. I have a PSG one in my spare time and I really can't use it. So it's quite odd that I can do really well for Millwall. 5-0 is a great result. I just love this because I support Millwall and it's great results like this that make you even happier when recording the career modes. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this Millwall career mode. It's been fantastic. Despite losing one of the games, we have done really well in this episode. Gregory has done really well, mind you, in this episode. So, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, stay tuned for more Millwall career mode episodes. Goodbye.